Greetings, Internet. I am Ken from the Computer Clan, and I'm here today to talk about Logic Pro 10.4. Apple just released this new version, and there's a lot of cool new features I want to talk about. And if you want a full change log, you can go to the help menu and take a look at the release notes or just press what's new in Logic Pro 10, and it will tell you a lot more than I'm going to tell you. And also, there is Apple's website right here which will give you even more features. So we're gonna cover a lot of these and I'll show you some cool things and then stick around until the end because I'll show you a cool resource that will help you learn Logic Pro 10 and other software even more should you choose to continue your education and training. And by the way, this update is free and if you don't have Logic, you can actually get it for 199 US dollars from the Mac App Store. Pretty nice. Free updates are good. Just a quick note, when you install the update, you'll get the new application enhancements, but you won't get all the new content. There's a lot of new content in this release and you need to go to the sound library and take a look at the library manager and choose what stuff you want to have installed, such as the new Visions Alchemy presets. We'll get into all that stuff pretty darn soon. As a cellist, I'm pretty excited about studio strings. So the stock strings in Logic aren't really the greatest. You can record your own samples and buy samples and stuff, and that's great and all. But now with studio strings, there's a lot better sounding string instruments built in with a lot more control. As you can see, I can get to them here from the browser. Here I have it applied in a track, and I can open up the patch window right here and play some cello stuff. And we have a lot more control than we did in the previous stock cellos, which you can still get to. And that's really nice. And you can click here and choose sections. You can choose single instruments. But what I think is a lot of fun is that the articulation is just right here in a quick little pop-up menu. So let's do some tremolo. This is always fun, right? It all spooky sounding. Oh, it just sounds so much more realistic than the previous version by a long shot. Pizzicato, just pl you know, pluck in your string, yeah. Crescendo. So again, nice articulation controls, features that were not in the previous version of Logic at all. The same has also been done for horns. They got the studio horns treatment, so woodwinds like saxophones and brasses and all that good stuff got these new controls, got the new interface, the new instrument chooser, the articulation options. And you can even change the volume of key clicks for crying out loud. That just adds another degree of realism that was not available built in before. I could turn those off and then the key clicks will go away. Very fun, much more realistic sounding than the previous version. Trombone, let's change the articulation, growl. Fall short. Vibrato controls built in. That was just a quick look, but let's add something to make these sound much better. And I'll start by demoing the medieval recorder for this feature. So we have a recorder here. It sounds okay, but it's missing something. It's missing space. It's missing reverb. It's missing some nice body and acoustics. So there's a million ways to do this. There's a thousand ways to skin a cat. There's so many ways to add reverb inside of Logic. A way a lot of people use is the Space Designer, which by the way, got a facelift. So it looks really nice now inside of the new version of Logic Pro. So the Space Designer is still there and it's better than ever. But there's something new called Chroma Verb. And this is a new algorithmic processor to create beautiful acoustic spaces. And man, when I first used this, I puked rainbows, and you'll see why right now. It 
it has a beautiful colorful interface to show you what is happening in real time. And you could turn it off if you want and you're no fun. I'm just kidding. It's no judgment here. So we can have a lot of fun with that. We have our presets up here, you know, reflective hall. Let's try that and listen to how that sounds. Very cool. And as you may notice as I'm going through these plugin windows here, we actually have individual undo and redo steppers per window. It's not just all set through the project undo. And you know, before plugins, some plugins didn't even support undo or redo, but now a lot more plugins do. You can control that right from here. And you can even include those steps, the undo and redo history inside of the project undo and redo. So that's another nice feature thrown into 10.4. Let's take these reverbs and go even further. Let's have some fun with some strings. Again, cellist, I just freaking love strings. Let's throw a chroma verb on there. Yes, let's pull this baby up. We'll do like a nice slow attack. Very cool. Now. Let's actually change some things. There's a very cool way that this little plugin lets you do that. So let's say I'm playing something. Well, do I want to keep making all these adjustments while I'm constantly pressing keys on my keyboard? Maybe, but there's a better way to do that. So let's do that. And freeze. So now you'll see the fountain is frozen. I am not touching my keyboard and I can affect how the wet sound of this effect is without playing any additional notes. I can change with the sliders down here or with the interface controls up here. The decay, that's how long it takes for the sound to go away. We can crank that up. And we can freeze that at any time here. Even as the decay is occurring, we can freeze it and have a listen. And we have our dry and wet sliders over here, quick crash course. Dry is the sound of the instrument before the effect. Wet is the sound of the instrument after the effect. So if I just had this set to wet, you would just hear the effect, which is just the reverb. If I had it set to dry, you would just hear the instrument. It's usually nice to kind of mix them together. So that's a quick look at Chroma Verb. Let's switch to Alchemy, heck yeah. So Alchemy has a new content library called Visions. So you can get to that through the menu up here, go to Visions and there's a bunch of new presets, just when you thought there was not enough, right? <laughs> so these effects kinda are geared towards cinematic sounds, trailer sounds, stuff you would use in trailers and stuff like that. So let's just kinda browse through a few. And you know we have a bunch of controls here as well. So let's go into Visions. Yes, let's go to Gated Growl. I haven't even gone through all these yet. Oh yeah, that's a growl, all right. And that kind of ripply sound definitely sounds like it's gated. Minor incident, just a tiny incident. Hmm, that's fun. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see, pads. Pads, binary star, okay, I love pads. Yeah. There's a lot of content, and like there's like 150 new presets, I think. So you can take those, tweak them up, build your own sounds, have fun. Soundscapes. Oh, these are always a blast. Resonant disorder. Definitely getting that movie vibe. So a lot of new presets inside of Alchemy. Let's take a look at two new plugins called Step Effects and Fat Effects. PH Fat. So I just have a very basic EXS24 synth here. 
So the step effects lets us add some rhythmic effects to our track. And we also have this nice XY pad up here, which can be used to control a bunch of different parameters. And we also have this actually, you know, right down here looks kind of familiar to anyone that used the arpeggiator. It works very similarly. So like if we're adding some rhythm, here is the temporal frequency and the velocity of how that rhythm works. So I'm using a preset called gate mix and I'll show you what it sounds like. So I'm gonna play the note and then turn the plugin on and you'll hear a difference. So now we have some rhythm going on there. I have the pan assigned to the X axes here on the pad. So by doing this adjustment on the X axis, I am adjusting our pan. Now it's left, right, centered. So I also wanna show that, yes, you have the slider down here and the yellow line will kinda of indicate your baseline, but you'll see that the XY pad is also reflected down here. So whatever this dial is set at, let's say 50, that's the minimum the XY pad will go. So there's a lot of fun to be had inside of step effects. Now, fat effects, again, pH, fat. This lets you add warmth and bass and a lot of punch to your sounds. It's not as focused on rhythm like step effects is. It's more focused on those other things. So let's have a listen to the track by itself. And now I can turn this on and change a whole bunch of things. Again, with our dials, with our XY pad. Again, our cutoff can be reflected in the XY pad here. Low, high, low, high. I can even add distortion, different types of distortions, bit crushers, grits, dirt, and just have a ball with this. And it's even more fun when you combine them together. Lots of cool customizable features in there. Man, there's billions of ways to do a billion things inside of Logic and it just got better with 10.4. So much fun to be had. A lot of new features here. Again, let's turn this off. That's what it sounds like without the step effects and the fat effects. And again, let's turn them on. That's just something we threw together quick. Man, I could spend a million years inside of those effects. I think I probably will. All right, another new feature. This is a big one, just kidding, it really isn't. But inside the file browser, there's something cool here. You could browse your files like you could before, but ding ding, right click, you now have a bookmark option. So you can bookmark parts of your file system right there. So bookmarking, now available inside of Logic Pro 10. There's a lot of other things I'm not gonna take a ton of time to go through, but another thing is Smart Tempo, which will let your project adjust to tracks based on different tempos, or your tracks can adjust to the project tempo automatically. There's Adapt and Auto settings, and you can even adjust all these settings here. It's just absolutely insane what you can do with all of this. And honestly, I don't use that a lot because I don't record a lot. I don't have a lot of actual instruments I can record with to demo much of that for you guys, I'm sorry. Maybe tell me the results you get when you try it out. And also, under Equalizer, we have a new Vintage Equalizer collection. Tube Equalizer, Graphic Equalizer, Console Equalizer. Mm -hmm. 
And these are actually very identical to 70s and 50s and 60s vintage equalizer consoles, but now they're right here on your computer. Let's change that one. Let's see, equalizer, vintage collection, tube stereo. So we made a pretty gritty rhythmic filtered instrument right there. So we went from this basic EXS24 and we stacked the step effects, the fat effects, and one of the new vintage uh, equalizers. Actually, all three of these things are new in Logic Pro 10.4. So that's pretty much the gist of what I wanted to show you, but there's one more thing that I did promise, that resource. So you're watching this video and learning stuff, right? That's great, you hear my voice, it's awesome. But what if you could ask me a question and I answer directly? Well, this video can't do that, it's just a video. But there is something I do offer through the Computer Clan that can do that. It's called Tidbytes Training. It's a personalized training experience for you, it works online, and it helps you learn tech products like Logic Pro 10, Phonica Pro 10, or something else. You'll hear my voice. It'll be your computer and your software, but when you're trying to learn something or you have a question, I can teach you and answer all your questions for you in an interactive, personal experience tailored just for you. So check out tidbytestraining.com if you want to learn more about Logic and train with me personally over the internet, and maybe... I'll learn something from you too. I don't know, learning is a two-way street, right? Also, share your music with me. Let me know what you think about this new update. Maybe share some new songs you made with it. 10.4, guys, get it as a free update. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future.